Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. You can always find us on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny. And you can find us on Facebook at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. So today I just wanted to start off with these beautiful shirts. Um, these were my dad's. Ah, it gets me emotional. <laughs> I didn't think it would, but it does. Anyways... He and my mom went to Hawaii in 1969, and this beautiful one, there's actually a dress to match that my mom had. It was gorgeous. And then there was a third one, a third shirt that was blue and white. Beautiful. And my daughter, when she was in high school years ago, um, loved the shirt, and so she wore it any chance it was clean. <laughs> And so I always thought that was so sweet that she liked to wear grandpa's shirt. But anyways, um, so I brought these out today because I just want to pray um, or ask for prayer for our friends in Hawaii and uh, for one of our subscribers, brother and his daughter, uh, our friend Kat. And um, they've been affected. They've lost their homes and have been affected, you know, by the fires. So... That beautiful, beautiful uh, state of ours um, is in great need of prayer. And so I thought I'd start out with asking for that. Um, so, and show you these gorgeous, gorgeous shirts from uh, that my mom and dad got in 1969. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the print. So lovely. The colors are so amazing. And I love labels. I love clothing labels. Um, I won't take these off. As a matter of fact, one of them needs a little bit of mending, but, um, I think they're neat. Here's the other one. If I can get it up there. Yep. I love it. And then these really cool buttons as well. Super fun. These are very similar, just a little bit smaller. Anyways, um, I thought I'd show these to you. And like I said, this one actually has a dress that matches. So my mom and dad, uh, <laughs> they dressed alike when they were in Hawaii with this outfit. I just loved it. Look how little it is. <laughs> it just is one thing that just, you know, um, catches me off guard is how little it is. But I guess my dad at one time was, well, I, I know from photos, he was quite slender when he was in the military. They had met while he was in the military for some R&R uh, &R in Hawaii, and Grandma watched us, so that was quite fun. All right, well, today what I wanted to do is to play with um, CD, my CD holders. I think I need to adjust this just a little bit. Sorry, everyone. Okay. So I wanted to play with some CD holders. Some of them are coffee dyed and some of them are not. And basically what I've done is I've taken a CD holder and I've cut the front off to use as a guide just to help me um, to use not just for the circle, um, but to use as a guide to cut pictures. And then what I did was I took and with some cardstock, heavy cardstock, I made a circle that would lay inside of this, this circle here. Um, can you see that? Okay. So you could either use a compass to draw that. You could use, um, if you have a circle cutter, you could use that, but I used my, um, handy dandy coffee cup. It fit perfectly within this circle. And so I used it. All I did was take some cardstock. I traced around the mouth and then cut it out. Now, as you know, circles are not easy to cut out. But like we've talked about before, um, think of it as like your sewing machine. So you'll want to. So let me just show you here. So here's here's the mouth. I, that was the one that was. Let me use a pencil. <laughs> I'll get marker on that. Okay, so we're gonna we're just gonna trace around here the best that we can. Okay. And then 
you know, when you're sewing and you're going around a curve with your sewing machine, you can't really, you can't really move your sewing machine to go around that curve. So you move the, the fabric. Well, it's the same here. Instead of necessarily moving your scissors, you're just moving the paper. Now you're still going to get little quirks. You know what I mean? Because it's not perfect, but it, it's closer. It, it's, it's a lot closer than you move in the scissors. So take a wide bite and just keep moving the paper. And that really makes it easier. Same thing with fussy cutting, you know, um, moving the paper makes it a lot easier to fussy cut like a flower or what have you. All right, so then you have somewhat of a circle. Okay, now, so I have mine. It You can see here that it does have a few little gaps, and that's okay. I'm not worried about that, and I'll tell you why here in a little bit. Okay, so then what I did was I took that circle, and I took a fresh, one of my uh, little CD pockets, and I laid that circle there. And then I just had fun laying down some um, ink. I just used ink pads. Now, you can see there's a few little dots here because I thought I might try that process that we've seen on other channels where uh, you, take, you take like one of these acrylic blocks and you stamp just your colored stamp pad on that. And then you spritz it with water and drip it on. Um, you can see, um, I want to say, I can't remember if it's Carrie the Crafter. I know Gail has done it. Um, but one thing that I tried it, and because these are so thin, the paper is so thin, I mean, it drenched it just even with a little bit of water. And although you can dry it, it just made it real vulnerable and, and tear easily. So I thought, well, I'm not going to mess with that today. Maybe another time. But I did, I did try it here and you can see where I tried it. So this is just going to help me to not get a bunch of ink on the inner circle where that little acetate is. I mean, it's not a big deal. You can take a baby wipe and go over it. But I just thought, well, why even do that? Let's just try to avoid it. And so all I did was I took that circle and I took a little bit of tape, scotch tape, and I just, you know, did the little roly, like we used to put bows on gifts. I did the little roly and then stuck that down. And then if you do get a little bit, bring this over here, try not to drag it. If you do get a little bit, um, you know, on it just a tiny bit, like I do have right here, just dip your, you can get a Q-tip in some water and just go around the edge, you know, and at least this way you don't have a ton of ink you have to clean up. And then you have a really neat clip, a nice little, um, you know, pocket you could put other things in. Um, and so I thought that's what we would do today. So this one, I did put a bird in it. And um, I'm going to also show you how to go about cutting that. Now you can either use that. I haven't done anything to this because I really want to spend today mostly on just um, doing the uh, outside of the CD holder. Um, but also cutting these out as well so we can make some either you can make journal cards or you can actually glue it to the back and then use this as a pocket you know whatever you want to do so I thought well let's just go step by step and give it a try and see what comes of it um real quick I'll show you how I go about cutting those and if we have time we'll do a few of those so um by the way that's one of my little butter pats from my collection if you're ever interested in seeing my butter pats just let me know uh, they're not I mean I love them so much and I buy them anytime I get a chance but most of them are just cream I only have a few that are colored okay so this one is just the back or you know I've taken the back and the top off you can see here I have a little bit of the ruffle left and I just use this as kind of a looking glass to see what what would go nice I don't know if you can see that. There you go. What would go nice in this size 
of you know of a window and so you know so I can use it to see kind of what would what what would this look like you know for different things and so that's kind of a neat way to you know to use it let's see if we can find a pretty bird this was a fun book um I got this, uh, ooh, there's a pretty flower. Look at how pretty that would be. Joey and I, I think I told you we went thrift storing um, last week or the week before, I can't remember. And they had a bag of books for a dollar. And so this was one of the books that I got. But anyway, so that's kind of how I use it. And um, you don't you don't want to cut it exactly this size because you want it to be able to slip in a little bit. But if it fits in this, you know, you're just gonna. What I would do is so let's let's look at this one. Let's see. I'm gonna scooch it that way. So basically, what I would do is I'm taking my marker because this. Uh, magazine is shiny and when I put it in my cutter I can barely see it so let me use this marker and see if I can't do it Let's see if we can do one real quick and then you'll get the idea all right now I'll set this aside we have a little bit more space okay Okay, so now I can see it because I have, well, you can't see it because it's in a shadow now, but. <laughs> and one thing I've noticed is, okay, I'm going to go a little bit shy of where I drew the no the a notch because um, that way it fits nice and smooth in there. So there's my notch. Let me just scooch it up a little bit. Wow, we have had so much rain. You know, I've been telling you we've had rain, rain, rain. Well, we are still getting rain. It's, I just don't remember it being this wet in the summer before. I, maybe I've, maybe I just have a bad memory, but, um, I just don't remember. And then you could always, um, you know, like for instance, this one, let's say you wanted to make a journal card out of that and it has a little bit here, a little part of the, of the wording and it has a little part right here of the other page. You could put little collage pieces around there, tickets, what have you. But anyways, once you do that, then it should fit a little bit better in your, in your CD. Put a little, um, backing on it with car with them um, some coffee dyed or some pretty scrapbook or something and then there you have it it's so super cute okay so i'll put that aside and let's get started on on playing with these um and i'll put that aside that aside get that off of there and what did i do with my what did I, oh here it is so I'm just going to stamp on this. I'll put this aside too. Get everything out of my way that I don't need. So I got out some more of those Stampin' Up! stamps that um, my mother-in-law's friend gave us. And um, so I thought we'd use some of those. I'll try to tell you the colors as we go. Let me get them out of this little container. So it'll be a little easier to, to grab. And then the ones that I used... On the other the one that I already showed you the example I showed you are just these that I had and these are like a really kind of an opaque type of pigment there it's an interesting how, how they come out a little almost chalky but um, and I don't remember where I even got these maybe Hobby Lobby I don't know so anyways, yeah, I used those on the ones that I already showed you. Okay, so let's get started. Let me get a piece of tape. And won't this circle be fun once it's once it's all done? Huh? We we could use it 
you know, even to put inside. And you can use just a circle to, to put inside there like a CD was, you know. Okay, let me just have a little bit of coffee here. This coffee cup's super cute. It's old. I don't know if you can see it without me tipping too far, but um, at the very bottom of it, it has a frog. <laughs> all right, so all I did was I'm just doing this. I wonder what that one might not have any ink in it. I haven't used these some of these before. I only I've only used the ones that I showed you uh, the other day. But I'm just going around like this. That one seems a little bit dry, but I don't know. I'll, I'll have to check it out another time. There's not a lot of cleanup with this either. So this one I remember being really wet from when we did <clears throat> the. Um, Remember when we did the um, flowers on the packing material? Remember that one being really wet. Okay, so the, I'm sorry. This one was Blushing Bride Rose Red. And this one is Garden Green. Ooh, that's pretty. I think I need a light color to and then another thing you could do now I don't I might have to pause if I have time to do this but you could splatter some white or some black on here you know if you find that you've gotten too much color and you want to lighten it up you could do that this one I'm was wild wasabi now i do have i think i have a light i wonder what color this how light this would be this one looks a lot lighter this one is fern green Let's see if it's any lighter not much okay i think this one has enough <laughs> but just to give it a little bit of pop, I am going to put a little bit of black on it. Sometimes you would think that black would darken it, but sometimes the, because there's such a contrast with the black, you'll actually see the light, the light part better, I think. Okay, now let's see what happens when we... The big reveal. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of neat. It reminds me of um, plaid. It reminds me of plaid. Now I do see a little spot that, you know, needs a little bit more. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put that back down. And I'm going to go in with this. I, yeah, I'm going to go in with this lighter green here. And go around that edge a little bit. Now, I do want to tell you, you can actually just stamp. Like if you have a bunch of flowers and you want to do flower stamps, just do it. Um, I wanted these to just be a little bit more of a background so then I can add to it. Because I'll, I'll add on to, um, you know, I'll add on top of this. All right, well, there's one. All right, good. I like it. Next. Let's, let's try this blue. And I, I also like the lines. I think the lines kind of give it that plaid flannelly look too or denim or what have you and it's a quick and easy fun gotta remember how to do these um 
fun playtime. Oh, that one was Marina Mist. That blue was Marina Mist. And this is Wisteria Wonder. I forgot to tell you that. Joey and I went to a wedding last night. Uh, Joey um, was a Boy Scout leader for years while his son was younger. Um, and so these boys are now grown up and but still in Joey's life. And one of them got married last night. It was a beautiful ceremony down at one of our lakes. And uh, I'm just very, very pretty. I was concerned because it rained so heavy yesterday. Um, we just prayed about it. Boy, oh boy, the skies cleared up and it was a gorgeous outside wedding. Uh, the reception was inside, which was nice because it was air conditioned. Okay, see how pretty that one looks? I really, really like that. Let's put a little bit of black on it. A little bit. Yeah. It's pretty. All right. Two down. <laughs> and you could also, you know, put that up if you wanted to. You can do the back. You don't have to guard anything in the back, really. So you could do that at some point if you wanted to do that. And that way it would just be a clip in and you wouldn't, you know, or you can use it as a pocket or belly band or whatever. All right. This one is called Always Artichoke. Always Artichoke. <coughs> Excuse me. One second here. All right. Oh, wow. What is this color? Wow, it's kind of like a dark, whoopsie, dark gray-green. Wow, I don't think this pad has ever been used. Wowza. Okay. I, I do like the color, but um, it's definitely a statement color. Let that dry for a second. Do I have a lighter color? Let me see if maybe my, Let's see, I hope, hopefully this won't pick up any of the, any of this green or whatever this, this artichoke color is. Oh, it is a little bit. Okay, Sarah, huh? So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'll lighten it up a little bit. I'm going to give it one off there. Okay. And then I think I'm going to go with this wild wasabi and see if I can put a little bit of light green in that. Okay. Okay. With the middle one, it looks really like it's getting muddy, but that's because that one has everything on it. That one's really pretty. I see that I missed a little bit here. I think I'm going to do it in pink. <laughs> Get my pink back out. Okay. I like 
like it. Oopsie. I think that's very pretty. Very pretty. I think that's a, a pretty mushroom behind it would be neat. Okay, now what I want to do is um, I want to do a couple of these coffee dyed. I'm going to just use the same circle. I don't have another circle cut out except the one you just saw me cut, which I'll probably use that another time. This one's called Crumb Cake. So let's see what that looks like. Crumb Cake sounds good now that it's raining. It's very light on this uh, coffee dye which is fine. Just a little, I don't know if it has very much ink in it. I'd have to use one of my stamps to check that out, but I'm fine with the way it looks. Okay, now let's just put a little bit of chocolate chip. Chocolate chip sounds good too with the rain. Chocolate chip is just this side of black, almost, really. So I like to just kind of alter the way that I put it down. I like it. Um, what is <laughs> a little q tip here? So, yeah, just a little wet q tip, damp. I wouldn't even say wet, just damp. I really like how that turned out. I wonder if just something right here to break that up might work. How about? this coffee one yeah super easy really like it all right let's take some of this stuff away just so we can see them So pretty. So that was really, really quick. That was really quick. Um, let me see here. Why don't I put a few? Let me let me pause you for a second. I'll clean up a little bit and then maybe we'll um, put some things inside and decorate. One sec. Okay, I'm back. I couldn't remember if I told you what book I got this out of. I know I told you we got it at a thrift store, but it's the best of birds and blooms and this one was the 2012 what what a great book so i don't know if you um have a thrift store if you look for something like this um or if maybe at you know the thrift books online you can get you know something like this so great 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 pictures it was a really great bye um okay so i did find some some things that I wanted to um, do for the four that we got accomplished. And I think I'm going to use this one because um, I'm wanting to do a few Christmas. So just going to put myself a couple of little marks here with my little template guy. And uh, I also grabbed some card stock. I don't know. That might be that might be straight. It might not. I can't tell. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, so, and I have a digital I thought I would use from Artsology. You know, I love the mystery kit. So I got uh, the mystery kit out, and there's a, one in there. And then also another one from the Junk Journal Studios. Love the kit. She has a new kit out that is fall. Oh my gosh, you guys. And her kits are so gigantic. Now let's just double check that that's going to fit in there. I got it for this one. There we go. It's going to be really cute. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to glue this onto some cardstock. So there's that one. Um, I got this really fun one. This is from the Junk, the junk Journal Studios um, Summer's Bounty Kit. I thought that would look good with this one. I need to glue on the back of that. This one's already cardstock, so I don't need to glue on the back of that. I think what I'll do is just round the corner so it fits in there nicely. And it's a really good journaling spot. And then we could put, you know, something on top of it. You know, an embellishment on that. Let's do that really fast. And then that one will be pretty much on its way. Got to find the right one. I think this is it. I'd like to have a mushroom, but those mushrooms don't. I wonder where my mushrooms are. I've cut a bunch of mushrooms out. Let's see if this one will work. It must still be, you remember I told you I put, um, I have like a little traveling kit that I take um, to put, um, this is another thing that's great about this. You can determine where to glue. And that's going to be good right there. I have a little travel kit that I take to um, fussy cut, and I think that's where my mushrooms are. I'm going to grab some little piece of paper out of here, just for some contrast. Yeah, I think that'll be good. I thought I would use this archival ink today to um, just enhance a little bit. I'm going to go around this. Just hopefully it'll show up a little bit better. That background's pretty busy. And it would be great on its own, but that will be fun to put something on it. And I think I'm just going to use dark glitter glue. Help me to not get um, too much sticky everywhere. Okay, I think that's going to be good right about there. comes down. We'll cover that word dying. That's not great. So we'll cover that up. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know if you saw my video description a couple, maybe a week ago. I'd been using this I've been using this um garden book for background paper and it had some inappropriate things in it and I guess it's just because you know it was back in the day certain things were okay and it's not okay it wasn't okay then and but I guess it was more acceptable I don't know but I was so I ended up having to, because I didn't notice that it you know, I'm thinking garden book. What can be, what can go wrong with that? 
I ended up having to take out the first portion of the video. You probably noticed that. My apologies if I was offended. So my apologies to anybody else that was offended. Okay, so now I have that, which is super fun. And then you could also, let's see if I can find something else I want to do on this one. Put that, and maybe we can find a butterfly. I don't know if you can hear the rain. Oh, it sounds so awesome. Awesome, awesome. We'll put that there. I think I told you I don't normally take a nap. I told Joey today after church, I'm like, we are scheduling in a nap. <laughs> this rain is so amazing. Okay, I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to put a stamp on it. I'm going to put this number. Am I going to stamp off? I have a piece of scratch over here. Okay. All right. We'll put this down. Joey fixed a huge breakfast today. Huge. And uh, so we haven't had lunch yet. But it's getting to be that time. For a late lunch he fixed omelets homemade like um, butter biscuits and um, sausage and then we had fresh cherries tomatoes and avocados oh man it was so good he you know the whole time I'm eating I'm thinking how could we open a restaurant for Joey's food just whenever we have time <laughs> you know what I mean because I would love for other people to get a chance to taste his his when he makes eggs I don't know this whatever seasons he uses they are so good so good I know he uses basil I know that's a favorite of his but I I've started using basil too. So when I make mine, I, I started using basil, but, and that's good. I mean, you know, but I don't cook it and throw it in the trash. It's just that his are so good. Okay. So that's cute. Yeah. All right. Let's put that there. Um, how much time do we have? A little bit of time, not much, but a little bit. Let's see if we can get these glued down at least. glue these down and if you don't glue them inside the packet and you glue it like this you could always sew around it which I might sew around them okay mm, magazine Magazine is the stink with the um, art glitter glue because you can see through when you use art glitter glue. It, it leaves like you can see the lines wherever you drew the art glitter glue. You can see the lines. So this one I'll definitely sew around because I'm, I didn't go all the way to the corners. Okay. One, two, three. Where's that other one? There it is.
then I'm going to use, well, let's get them cut out. Don't want to get ahead of myself too, too far ahead of myself, I guess. But I want to expedite quickly so that be prompt, prompt, so we can have time to decorate this one. Of course, that paper will be used for something, of course, of course. And that will be used for something. These will not. <laughs> okay, and then let's get this done. Ideally, it'd be be uh, it's best to, for me to cut the longest sheet, the longest piece first, but see how this one doesn't fit. Um, and I don't really want to get out my, my big cutter. But don't fear. Nothing's going to waste. I'll definitely be using those scraps. And sometimes when they're, when they're cut, it's easier for you to see what they could be you know like a journal card or something um i changed the location of my camera a little bit because i was kind of wondering if it jiggled less if i put it on the side of my table so i don't know if you've noticed a difference or not if one is better than the other you know you can let me know I'm very much considering this table, this table that I have now, you know, is quite nice and large, but it's hollow and I'm just wondering if, you know, something might work better as far as the jiggling goes, because I feel like my camera jiggles a, a bunch. So, um, I'll be on the lookout. All right, I'm just going to pop these in. I'm not going to finish them. I'm going to finish the... Christmas one real quick got to start Christmas stuff and while I may be using digitals and craft paper and stuff it may not all be is that sweet and then put a pretty little flower or something on it it may not all be um, journaling things because I've got to start making some Christmas gifts. And uh, I'll make some things journal-wise, you know, for stockings and stuff. But I've made everybody a journal, so <laughs> I don't know that they want another one. Pretty much made everybody a journal. So that's neat. Now this one could definitely, you know, have a ton of decorating. I even see, like, some pretty... Um, floral postage stamps would be fun on that one. Okay, so now let's do this one. Okay, so this one, I'm going to use this just as my guide. Uh, get this out. Kathy, I've got my Kathy Holden Christmas stuff. I'm going to dump them in here. Because I thought I would use those. Oh, brother. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here's another one. Now, see, wouldn't this be... I'll show you here in a second when this be so cute. If you just had, you know, your paper and then you had this behind it, wouldn't that be sweet? So what I'm looking for, I'm going to just push these aside just for a second. What I'm looking for is, you know, something maybe to go along here. I don't want to cut that one down. I think that's going to be a good one. 
or let me grab the Christmas paper. Carry on, I'll be right back. Okay. Kathy Holden Christmas Flea Market Find. Oh, I know that's jiggling. Okay. And then th these are the two that I just did. This one, this last one I did was Kathy Holden Jingle Bells. These are all from Spellbinders. You can probably find some on Etsy. Kathy Holden Christmas Pines that first one and then this is her Christmas flea market find paper oh so beautiful look at that gorgeous 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 oh so pretty look at this we get two those be beautiful. Okay, I'm going to go with the green. And I'm just going to tear a little bit. Set that aside for a second. That's going to look cute. Okay, and I'm gonna just distress if I can find my dauber. Distress this just a little bit. Okay. Got a lot going on here on my desk. And I think go this way I'm going to tear that off a little bit could wrap it around but um, it's not enough for me to wrap around I kind of think that um, when I wrap around I like it to be a little bit you know significant of an amount okay and then this one I'll probably stitch around to Okay, and then what about a little bit of the red? Ooh, that blue's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty too. They're all pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, how about a little bit of the red? You know I hoard my Kathy Holden everything. I hoard it. I'm just using this to kind of cover up a little bit of the words. But I think what I need is a longer piece. Oh yeah, when I get to playing with Kathy Holden, time gets away. Okay, let's, come on Jenny, let's get it. That's perfect. Get a little bit of that off of there. All right. Get this on. Okay, good, good, good. 
and then let's put a little round something right there. Do we have something? Round, round, round. What's this? Merry Christmas. Perfect. Need to put something behind that though. Ooh, I even like that. <laughs> okay, let's put that there. And then, yeah, and then we'll do the other for the outside. Come on before it dries. All right, where's the outside? Here it is. Okay. We can salvage. Oopsie, got to take the lid off. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Very good. Let's see if this will still stick. Yeah. Okay. And then once I sew this, I'll I'll edge I'll edge it. I'm gonna put one more thing on here, and then I think we're done with this one. Let's put something It's fun to just look through it actually. That's fun. That'd be a good tall one in a In a journal uh, pocket. I need one that's kind of long. No. I need one that's long. Mm -mm. Hmm. Okay, am I going to spend like an hour doing this? Oh, here's something. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Christmas gift. Get it here. And you could also do the one on the inside, too. But I'm going to put that right there. Some lace behind it would be awesome. Do I have something really quick? I have this. Off of a dish towel or something. All right. <laughs> okay, we did it. Good. All right. I will pick up my precious Kathy Holden goodies in a bit. And um, I just want to remind you that we pray blessings over you. Um, we want you to know that you're so loved. And when you think of Hawaii, 
if you could keep our friends in your prayers the devastation there for comfort for some peace recovery quick recovery and cat we're thinking about you all right everybody thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video let me know what you what you do thank you bye bye